So at the Grove, we've got, um, currently we have three flower rooms and three phase two rooms. We have a fourth room that is just a bedroom. And in the bedroom, we have three tiered racks. Main reason we went with Heliospectra is we really needed to have a light that allowed us to do a double tiered system. A double tiered system with 1000 watt hide lighting would cook the roots and make the upper deck way too hot. We tried many different LED lights. We went through a dozen different companies and put them all up to the test. We built room that allowed us to test each individual light. So it really comes down to grams per watt is what we're focusing on. When we started doing the test, we started realizing that Heliospectra was just doing a little bit better for us than all the rest. We went to Colorado and did several tours of um, places like Pink House, places that were using LEDs, and realized that uh, the people that are using the Heliospectras were continually increasing their number of Heliospectra lights, which, you know, we looked at that as a, as a positive plus. And when we finally decided to pull the trigger on going LED, it was just kind of our natural choice was to go with the Helios Spectra. They had the best light spectrum. We were able to mimic the sun basically with certain light recipes, which other people don't have. You don't have just a LED light that you can tune down or tune up. We can actually mimic the entire sun range. We can go from blues to far reds. We can go everything in between with full spectrum. So when we first went into this with uh, Heliospectra, we contacted Heliospectra, looked at, at uh, doing a large purchase order. Going in business with them was probably a, a perfect opportunity for us because they had great customer service. They were able to actually uh, map our lights from Sweden. So we went to Sweden and looked at their facilities. We went to Colorado and looked at different lights they had. They were able to come out and help us in every aspect. In the past, I was looking at using a lot of hide lighting. That's what I had done for years. And so the concept of being able to control my light spectrum to such a fine level was a little bit intimidating looking at the fact that I was gonna have to learn this whole uh, recipe and learn all this light manipulation on the computer. And once I got into it and realized how easy it was, just click of a button, I can change my times, I can change my spectrum. I've mapped this entire room to the light spectrum that I wanted it in 15 minutes. And I can carry that over to every room if I want. I can change the light spectrum if I want. And the really neat thing is I can manipulate the lights for post and or end of harvest timing because I can bring these lights into just a pure blue raise my terpene levels right before harvest and something that we just we just harvested our first batch and we have mycene levels that are over 10 percent and our most recent test on our Leroy was uh, THC levels of 31.4 percent which is higher than I've seen them on Leroy's before so pretty pretty good. Having a good relationship with Heliospectre has really helped us a lot. Well, on our very first harvest with the Heliospectra lights, we realizing that we were actually getting roughly almost a week less in our, in our flower time because we were able to mimic the sun more naturally and speed up the whole process. Last three weeks of harvest, we were able to push the light spectrum a little different so that at the very end, we're getting that far red and we're able to speed up the product to harvest so just by that little bit by just being able to push that far red right at the end and really boost the production in the plant. The whole light spectrum is really a learning experience. We're learning to actually manipulate the plants the way we want them. I can stretch the plants a little bit. I can slow the stretching down. I can do a lot of things with manipulating the light patterns and it just allowed us to come to market quicker. And the really neat thing is I can manipulate the lights for post and or end of harvest timing because I can bring these lights into just a pure blue, raise my terpene levels right before harvest. And something that we just, we just harvested our first batch and we have mycene levels that are over 10%. And our most recent test on our Leroy was uh, THC levels of 31.4%, which is higher than I've seen them on Leroy's before. So pretty, pretty good. The ability to control the light spectrum it allowed us to speed up our entire harvest. 
we could shave almost a week off of our harvest time. And we think that maybe in the future, maybe even be able to shave a little more than that as we start to learn the lights. And the spectrum itself allows us to really manipulate each individual lamp if we want to, to control a certain plant. We can have a certain light spectrum for every plant. We can have um, certain recipes for the entire room to really help speed up the process and bring the product to market. The Grove's decision to use Helio Spectra LED had a significant impact on the HVAC infrastructure. The infrastructure associated with the HVAC was potentially cut in half. When you cut the HVAC infrastructure in half, you cut dollars required to build the infrastructure in half. Also, the energy consumption is cut significantly. In addition, the energy required to power the lights is reduced, which thereby enhances the overall um, financial performance of the operation. Reduction in cost and power for lighting, reduction in cost for power for HVAC, and reduction in cost for HVAC infrastructure. That's a big deal for a facility. So mechanical engineer, there are two things that I have to control in the growth space, and that is temperature and relative humidity. So controlling temperature with the LED lights is easier in that I have to have less equipment, less uh, infrastructure, and all the things that go along with HVAC. So the main thing is with the LED lights is it allows us to get a quicker return on our investment. We can cut our air conditioning costs in half. We cut our power costs on just the lights themselves in half. We don't have to replace bulbs. And we can eliminate a lot of the small uh, heat expenditures that we would have normally with a typical light. So it allows us to really cut that cost and return our investment probably almost twice as fast as we would normally have. And when we have this much biomass in a room, it produces an immense amount of moisture. We can kind of keep that temperature up, keep the dehumidifiers running a little higher, and keep that humidity down a little quicker, and makes it just a better environment for us. So we just chose the LEDs to allow us to do this double-tiered system. And by doing that, we've also effectively cut our AC cost in half. And it's literally half. We went from 90 tons on original spec to 45 tons on where we are now. As a design build contractor, I am involved in the development and construction of several growth facilities of various different types. It's always a challenge to provide adequate HVAC and fit within their budget. I've had many facilities that in fact have not been built because they just didn't have enough money to pay for the system. LED lights, that is a measurable impact on capital infrastructure, so your capital expenditures, if you will, which is obviously a constituent component in any business performance. 